Who told you life is difficult? It's difficult if you don't engage mysteries. The flood that destroyed the world was the flood sustaining the ark of Noah. And so what the world calls difficulty can become your advantage. The question is, what do you know? One of the things you must know and do is the ministry of thanksgiving. It's a platform for manifestation. And so when you wake up in the morning, start your day with thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know today is a super exciting day. I know today is a success. I know today is a wonderful day because you have gone ahead of me. Thank you, Jesus. They bring a bad news to you. Before you respond, don't say, ah, what kind of thing is this? As you collect it, say, thank you, Jesus. Even the inspiration to come out will come from that thank you. Even the victory, the power to succeed will come out of that thank you. And so thank you must become your first response. After you now say thank you, then you go to the second response. You say, help me, Lord. Some people start by telling God, please help me. Some even go behind, say, God, where are you? He's in heaven. His location has never been in doubt. He has always been in heaven and he will remain in heaven. But if you want God to come into your situation, before you say, God, where are you? Before you say, God, help me, say, thank you, Jesus. That was the order of Jesus' prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallow be thy name. Hallow be thy name. Hallow be thy name. Before thy kingdom come, before thy will be done on earth, before give us this day our daily bread. You go to God, you say, give us this day our daily bread. You don't know the order. Jesus came to Lazarus' tomb in John eleven forty one. He said, I thank you, O Father, that you always hear me. That you always hear me. The moment he thanked him, he turned. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible said, he that was dead came back to life because the protocol has been kept. The pattern has been observed. The ordinance has been respected. If you thank the Father, the credibility of the Father, the jealousy of the Father is invested into the matter. Believers have not mastered the corridors of thanksgiving. We take thanksgiving for granted and we want to be invincible. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. The Bible said, as the wind bloweth, where it listeth. He said, no man knoweth from whence it cometh or whence it goeth. So are they that are born by the Spirit of God. However, for that to become true in your life, there are mysteries you must understand. Because it's a mystery that makes you become like the wind. And one of that mystery is the mystery of thanksgiving. Did you not read Paul's prayer? He said, be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. In fact, before he said it in verse 4, he said, I say unto you, rejoice. Again, I say unto you, rejoice. How can I rejoice in the midst of crisis? Because the arsenals are locked somewhere. It will take thanksgiving to open the gates. And he said, be anxious for nothing. He said, in all things. Is it debt? Is it debt? Is it sickness? Is it frustration? In all things, by prayer and thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. If you have not thanked, you have no right to request.